Hi everyone. So in this video, I want to talk about Nginx as a reverse proxy. I also prepared a demo so we can see it in action directly. So let me get started and discuss what is a reverse proxy. So this is the typical web deployment without a reverse proxy where you will have a web server and you will expose it through HTTP and HTTPS port so that your user can access it via the internet. And this is the web deployment with a reverse proxy. So the reverse proxy will sit in front of the web server here and it will intercept all of the incoming HTTP and HTTPS requests and it will forward the request to the backend web server. So what are the benefits of a reverse proxy? So these are some of the benefits. From the security angle, a reverse proxy will provide another layer of security by hiding the backend server information. So this is crucial for security that it can prevent attacker to do a reconnaissance attack to your environment. So basically the less the attacker know, the better it is. Reverse proxy also able to give some protection to some of the attack. For example, the slow HTTP or slow loris. Later, I will give some demo for this attack. And reverse proxy can remove the need to install separate certificates on many backend web servers. It can provide a single point of configuration and management for SSL or TLS. Also from the functionality angle, a reverse proxy can aggregate a multiple website. So basically a reverse proxy can route different branch of a single URL address space to different internal web servers. So if you have multiple website and you have multiple web servers, you can expose it via a single reverse proxy. And last but not least, it can centralize logging and auditing, basically for many purposes. So these are some of the basic benefits. There are other benefits and use cases such as load balancing, caching, and authentication. But we will discuss this in details on other videos. So let's jump into the demo. So this is the demo environment topology where I already provisioned a couple of EC2 instance in AWS. I already have two backend server here and I already installed Apache for both of them. And in front, there will be a reverse proxy server where I already installed Nginx. So in the first demo, we will see how Nginx as a reverse proxy can aggregate multiple backend. For example, if a client requests Nginx demo1.com, Based on the configuration, Nginx will forward the traffic to the first Apache server. And then if another client try to access Nginx demo2.com, where it will point to the same reverse proxy, but based on the domain and the host name, Nginx will forward it to the different backend. Okay, so let's get started. So let's start our configuration. Let me just do an SSH to my nginx instance here so go to etc nginx in here you can find the default nginx config file so what you need to do is just edit the file you need to find the server block here as you can see here by default nginx will be installed as a web server with which will serve this uh, html content from this root directory so just put some command to all of that directive. Save the file. And then go to the config directory. And then here, you will need to create your first Nginx custom config file. So I can say default.conf. So first, we will need to put the server block here. 
and then the first directive that we need to put is the listen directive so in here i put uh, port 80 so basically this tells engine x of which port that this instance listen to and then the second one we need to put the server name so basically in the server name directive nginx will check uh, it will tell nginx which server block is used for a given request so that means that if you have multiple sites nginx will know which configuration to load based on the server name so in here let's say we put nginx demo1.com then we need to put location root open brackets again and then this we need to put the proxy pass directive so this directive basically tells nginx to forward the request or data to the backend web server so in here we need to put http and then we need to put the backend web server so this is the ip and then port 80 here so that's it basically this is all that you require to do a reverse proxy to the backend server because we have two backend servers what we need to do is we just simply copy this server block i can put in the same file and then we can just simply change the server name to nginxdemo2.com and then change the ip to the second web server here okay just simply save the file once we save the file uh, what we need to do next is to just tell nginx to reload so the new config will be reload and then what we need to do is um, i will edit my host file here Okay, I will put the nginx IP and then I will put the both of the hosting okay that okay let's try it out okay we put nginx demo1.com Okay, as you can see that it's already successfully forward the request to the backend Apache. So this is the content of my backend first uh, Apache server, uh, as you can see. And then if we request to the same IP but different host name, uh, as you can see, even though it's pointing to the same IP, which is the nginx reverse proxy, uh, based on the host name, host name or the domain it will serve different content or it will forward to the different backend here so in the second demo i want to show you the security benefit of a reverse proxy i will initiate a slow http request first directly to the backend server so the expected result is once the slow http request initiated the server resource will be exhausted and not be able to serve other legitimate HTTP requests. After that, I will try to initiate the same request, slow HTTP, but through Nginx this time, and we'll see how the backend server will behave. So I already installed the monitoring tools for my Apache server. So in here, as you can see, um we can see the existing connection that is being served by the apache server and currently because the one is accessing my web application currently it's still empty and then let's see what happened if we initiate the slow http request as you can see once we run the slow http request the server is being clocked by all of the read requests here hence if you want to access the server it will not serve your request because it is busy because of the slow HTTP request here 
as you can see this single command is so powerful that it can take down a whole web server here okay and then let's try again what will happen if we do the same request but to nginx reverse proxy so here i will run my command as you can see we can see only one request is happening to the backend server and then if we want to access the backend server we can access it normally you can see that the service is still available even though we run the same request that can take down the apache web server in the back so here are some of the key takeaways so in terms of functionality nginx server proxy can serve many purpose from aggregating multiple websites and then doing some centralized logging and many more in terms of security nginx server proxy can adding extra layer of security by preventing some of the attacks that i show previously and can do uh, some security functionality like enable ssl tls and do the ssl offloading and then last but not least nginx can drastically improve your website performance by offloading the needs to decrypt the ssl request from backend server and nginx have other modules such as caching and compression so thank you for watching and stay healthy